So you're probably wondering, how'd we end up here? Great question. Uh, we were... <laughs> we were boarded. Randomly, I think. Randomly. And uh, now it's just Vakir. Apparently reinforcements will come in. But uh, clearly there are some problems over here. So we have a couple things at our disposal. We have Banish which works against demons. Uh, this guy is a demon, but he's immune to banish, of course. None of these are demons. These are all organic. Uh, we've got Frenzy, so we can do Crazed for one turn for two willpower. That might not be a, a horrible idea. He is not immune to Crazed, actually. That's something we might be able to use. Uh, Dominate gives us basically full control uh, or, or guarantees that they attack enemies for uh, two turns, but it's three willpower. And then of course we have uh, our teleport here. The thing is, we have no idea where our guys are gonna come in. What, like, I, we have not, like nothing, we have nothing. We have two attacks here. Um, power attack, which shoots for four damage with armor break. This guy has no armor. And knowledge shoots uh, at range 5 to deal 5 damage, 35% to crit, extra 2 crit damage with armor pierce. Um, the problem with that is you have to be really close. So it's a bit awkward, isn't it? Um, when I, if I, if I shoot him, he's gonna create these reflections, and here I'm only dealing 1 damage, so I kind of feel like unsure of, of how to approach this. If you insist. So for now, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna kind of hide and uh, hope for the best. We have no overwatch or anything. I'll actually take this full cover fly. here. And we'll just get an idea of what's going down. We have teleports. We can get out of that. I don't know if this is a thing where we should focus on these additional units, or if we should just go all in on the big one. <laughs> okay, subtle. Ektar, I contend with a demon prince. Oh. Oh, it's Krajim. Oh, see, this is what I was worried about. Uh, Weapon-wise? These guys all have... Oh, he's got the Drassus. May I don't know how equips are decided. Like, uh, yeah, this is interesting. Okay, so I do have Honor the Chapter. Oh, okay, so Krajim... So, okay, so it's Krajim, it's not Ibram, first of all. So he'll have all the gear that he previously had, which is, I guess, decent in this scenario. This'll, this'll give, uh, uh, three turns of Crazed. And we can hit this whole group here. Presumably. Let's see. Um, that's not bad. I would like to get that other guy in there. But if I can't, I can't. He'll create reflections, that's fine. Okay. Now. What is it? I, I do feel like if we, we should try and take out these these other guys here. Or get them to take each other out. This has armor pierce. Back, fiend. I'm outside of the overwatch. And we crit. Very nice. So what I'm thinking is we take a couple of these shots. Now it does use willpower, unfortunately. Uh, maybe we take these and we sort of break his armor, but that just seems like it's gonna take literally forever. 
But then I maybe teleport back here. We could go for, like, a knockdown on this next turn. Maybe they'll line up nicely for us. Let's do another one of these. What stratagems do I have? <laughs> okay, interesting. So it uses our last equipped stratagems, too. Which is too bad, because that means I will not have the regain all willpower. That kind of sucks, doesn't it? Maybe we get lucky with another crit. Not quite. It's a nice sounding gun, though. I'll give you that. The other thing I need to do is sort of try to move these guys closer together. Um, I might as well attack this. And see if it's real. It is not. Okay, that's good. This now this dude's not crazed. That makes sense. Very nice. Very, very nice. Step down. Now this, yeah, this guy's crazed as well. Oh, that's probably not gonna have an effect on them. I have so missed this chase card. Oh, nice. You will be my guest of honor when we celebrate the Eclipse is here. Eclipse is here. So he's got, uh, so I think, was it Jlurdum that we had out last? Because Jlurdum had, uh, I'm busy. the better gun, I think. This has Pierce. With pleasure. What kind of close-up damage do we do here? Literally one. Okay, let's not do that. I need nine. If I come and stand here, then this guy could pose some interesting problems. Standing ready. This isn't bad. We have three shots from here. Firing on target. Blessed are our arms. Yeah, if we had like the really good gun, yes, that'd be nice. On. There's a crit. Okay, so now I only need three. Oh, look at you getting that extra AP. Love that. Love that. Um, we need the willpower oh. here though. So I need three. Uh, I guess I have to go here. I'm still pretty far away sure from that other guy, so I might still be fine. Let's not use willpower. It's a nice little pistol. To your foul master. Okay. As you come on. We'll take that cover there. This guy is not currently crazed, and neither is he. I feel like I might as well do this, right? Then they're all crazed. Two turns on those top four, three on the bottom. It's not gonna help yet. And now we're kind of more grouped up in a similar spot. I think this 
this is this works. I don't see a reason for me to engage here. Doesn't look like there's warp surges, which makes sense because we're on our own ship. Does he create copies off? Oh, interesting. <laughs> Hello. I may be able to hit the burn there. Ooh, who's this? Oh, now Ibram's in. With your lead, Commander, I will repel these borders. Okay, what this is got interesting. Uh, you can't shoot that, maybe because you're on it. I mean, this is so not amazing. I got seven damage here, so I'm gonna go for it. He's gonna create reflections. Okay, that's fine by me. Just a regular shot. Oh, that's real! Oh, damn. That's real. Okay, so let's take a really close look at him now. So you can move up to range 10, knockback, uh, and immune to autos, fine. He can afflict hobbled, fine. Target a knight in 14 range for cursed bond. Then the knight will take 5 damage when Kadex is dealt damage. He can target a knight and teleport them. We saw that in the first time we faced this guy. Uh... Allies within area 2 take minus 2 damage from ranged attacks. It's only allies. He does this foul reflection once per turn. And then he's got a psychic attack at range 10 to afflict blinded with armor pierce, and he can deal six damage to adjacent targets. Okay. What is your will? Interesting. This isn't amazing because we're kind of far away. But we do have Honor the Chapter stuff. Uh, are you out? Standing ready. Yes, come on. Oh, come on. I'm here to serve. I'm busy. I'm busy. <laughs> I don't know what the best thing to do with her is. Like, uh... Yes, come on. I feel like I'm best off getting as close as I can here, and then honoring the chapter. This will still give me the three, which is the max damage I can get right now. The Emperor lights our path. If I warp charge, it's three AP. Um, how much ammo do I have? Not sure. Okay, let's honor the chapter with a warp charge. It's not going to be too often where we hit the right reflection. So I kind of... I kind of just want to go all in. Okay, I only have one ammo, unfortunately. So that means I can either shoot, reload, shoot. Or I can put vulnerable on. I think I'm better off shoot, reload, shoot, to be honest. We'll go uh, precision targeting. Nice, nice, nice. So Cursed Bond is the one where he links to us and we take damage. Empowered Leap is the leap. Uh, teleportation, I think, is where he moves us. And then Cloud of Flies um, only affects his allies, I think. So I don't really care about that. Um... Yeah. If he teleported us into that group, it wouldn't be ideal. Let's maybe disable that for right now. It's just for one turn. 
Dispersed ammunition depleted. Reloaded. Okay. Go again. Nice crit. Oh, got the extra AP. We'll take it. Go again. I think we're going to use our Quicksilver stratagem here, too. Fiend. You won't be long for this world. Hey, Vic here. Simmer down. I have only lifted a veil from their eyes, my dear. Allow me to lift it from yours. Let's keep shooting. This is, like, pretty solid, actually. At your service. This is six damage. If I shoot, I'm dealing... Three. Oh, Cloud of Flies does... Oh, damn. Cloud of Flies does... Uh, protect him as well. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Yes? Okay, so Vakir, are you serious? You're not close enough to hit that? Okay, well, I'm close enough here, so I'm going to take it. I know it's willpower, oh. but... It bleeds. That's so weak. Okay. So slight misunderstanding on Cloud of Flies. This is going to be better then, because Cloud of Flies doesn't care. All right. I must sanctify my rounds. Now let's um, let's transfer the armor here. Oh, interesting. Let's actually transfer to Vakir. She obviously needs to survive. And then... Let's just sit here for now. We're going to want to hit that group with another craze grenade, I think. Very good. Good job. I just love that there's like this mini Royal Rumble. Whoa. Okay, we keep getting new people. Why do you fail so, Carver? Unleash me. Your codex is dust. Interceptor. You can restrain the bloom no longer. Okay, so these guys are still crazed for one turn. Oh wait, he's not. But I got two crazed still. These two are not. Silence. Yes, Commander. Hmm. I am here to serve. Let's get a uh, reload here. I have sanctified my rounds. So he's going to teleport now after we hit him. Malign teleportation is us. So we can just permanently disable these. So that's, I guess, the better way to go. I don't know why I was thinking this was even a decent option, but... Let's disable this. Would have been so much better to do it after we figured out that reflection last time. Watch, we're so lucky that this one right next to us is the... Whoa. Whoa, 
whoa, whoa. Did that just show us who the real one is, by chance? Six teleport beacons. Holy crap. We can close these. On my way. <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to be able to close very many. I'll tell you that much. Let's see if he's real. It did show us! Oh, I don't know if it should be doing that. But I'm not going to argue, clearly. Okay, I've got to honor the chapter. My blade is yours. I'm concentrating. Yes, yes, I'm sure. I can, uh... I can teleport to one of those. My blade is ever ready. Where's your teleport reach? It's not nearly as far as I need it to. <laughs> not even close. I do have this play. And we have 32 HP here as well on Kimosabi. We could come down there and we could teleport strike these dudes. Maybe end up over here and close one. With alacrity. Then we could honor the chapter to get out of there, maybe. Oh, nice. Got the AP back. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to hit them all. Let's see. Whoops. Yeah, I won't be able to hit all of them. However... This is still okay, in my mind. If I end up over here... Is this...? Hmm. Looks like I gotta go there. I definitely will warp charge this. Oh, I got the AP back there too. As you will. Close that. Close that. What is it? Okay. Now she can teleport down and close those two. Who? Unleash me. Let's honor the chapter here. I'll warp charge it. Your orders. We strive. Get that closed, and then I have another attack here with a hammer hand. Okay. Let's disable empowered drink now. He's shutting down. Yes, commander. Yes, commander. Okay, my dude needs to come down here. I'm actually going to have to do this, I think. Can I even? Like, yes, I can. Is it good? Not really. Yeah. I could honor the chapter with I'm concentrating. him. And it is sort of important because I need to get that craze going on that group for sure. It'd be nice if I could see exactly where this needed to be. I must. Okay, she can't even actually reach that one. My blade is yours. Yes, come on. Neither can he. What is your will? At your service.
I do have a shot for three from here. He's down to 38. I mean, that's not bad. He's down to 33. That's, you will be mine. Can't really argue. My carver, I, didn't know you I don't know if he has two of those so or not. Much. He does. So we should take another shot if I can. So if we move Krajim in, we take that shot. That means I won't have the psychotrope grenade. My is ever ready. And then I need to honor the chapter here with a warp charge. I think. She'll get three AP. She'll need to use um, two Watch. to close this. One, two. So she would have two left. And then I wonder... Yeah. Then I think what we would do is use Frenzy on this group. It's only a single turn, but that would do the trick, I think. That does mean I'm not hitting there with with uh, Ibram, but that's okay because we're gonna move in here and take the shot and get the extra auto. I'm busy. Um. Now, is there cover? Doesn't look like it. All right. Okay, so we close all of those. I feel like that's massive. That's massive. Uh, that's big. And then I can hit all of these with frenzy. Be foes among friends and strike out in fury. And then, last but not least, I kind of, I just don't want them to see her. Even this guy would. So there's a chance he attacks her. I come down here. These guys are all close. Oh, look at that. Okay, that is still showing. But I'm going to take this anyway. Okay. Unleash me. Then. Then what? We're going to come on up, and we're going to take this three plus the extra shot. We'll cybolt it, definitely. Down to 27, baby. 22. Okay. <laughs> How clutch was it that we have those psychotrope grenades? Nice, cancel. Okay. Do not let these Man, they just keep sending us new knights too. That's insane. Mama Bear. Have calmed the edict's spasms. Death guard teleportation will be blocked in thirty-seven seconds. Thirty-seven seconds. Okay, it looks like maybe that's the last of the reinforcements. So he needs. We need to deal 17 damage. My blade is yours. My biggest damage output, I think, what is, your will? is Eclipse. Praise the Emperor. Now, I don't necessarily want to teleport yet. Oh, nice. We have that. Okay. Yo, come on. I think what we'll do, because we can't rely on being able to hit the uh, the reflections correctly, although we've been pretty lucky. Actually, well, if we get it, we can use our uh, our gate of infinity to find him, like to to locate him and kill him. Moving out. Okay, so we're gonna take this shot because then we get the extra there. And actually, let's uh, astral aim this.
cursed bond shirt. I don't know if that breaks the the length that he put on our buddy there. It does does not look like it's broken, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, you got the extra. Okay, clipped. Can you hit any of these guys? Bad angle. Too far. Okay. So no. The answer is no. Okay, not real. Standing ready. I have sanctified my round. Let's reload here. Dude, we might do this. Just one of these needs to be real that we hit. Oh! Game time. Bye bye. That is nastiness. <laughs> that is nasty. That went well, I think. Oh, look. Are we keeping him hostage? Your precious comments is burned. The bloom will thrive. He sounds so confident for being locked up. We have him. This warden of the bloom. Throne of the Emperor. Slay this creature. We cannot. Uh oh, Without here we go. The, Codex, the remaining Reapers will continue to spread their strains unimpeded. He is our only link to the bloom. Report. The enemy vessel is disengaging. Right. Ha! <laughs> they're leaving him. It flees into the sea of souls. Destroy it before. The Sea of Souls. Alrighty then. That was sick. Can the Codex Toxicus be recovered, Inquisitor? No. No, its precious wraithbone is shattered. I trusted it would be safe in the heart of a ship crewed by the Emperor's most elite demon hunters. The Emperor judges us all. This stillborn venture was your plan. <laughs> Delightful, isn't it, Carver? He not only questions your methods, but your authority as well. <laughs> Silence, demon filth. Your time is at an end. Not yet. What? Why? This abomination serves the plague god. He must be exterminated immediately. This demon prince knew enough to locate and destroy the Codex. I must extract what else he knows. You made this mistake on the craft world, blindly chasing mysteries. And what would you have us do, Ektar? Without the Codex, we will flounder in darkness while those last two strains spread beyond our control. <laughs> what indeed? What indeed? Commander, hear me. The bloom spreads beyond our capability to stop it. I am out of ideas and we are out of time. My one hope is that this demon knows something we can use. If I fail in the task, do what you will with me. If you falter for a moment, I will have no other choice. <laughs> he fears you, Carver. He is not my executioner, but he will be yours. <laughs> yeah, I, I do worry about that, to be fair. I thought we were going to have to maybe choose sides here, but... Doesn't look like that. Okay. Void shields are damaged. So, when we take hull damage events, we're going to take an extra damage. That's the way I'm understanding this. Uh, Grandmasters respond in 41 days. Still, prognosticars are shut down for 
ever, pretty much. Um, some minor injuries here. Nothing we can't work around. Warp drive construction in progress. So I think what we could do is still head for this ship. If we take damage, that's fine, I think. <laughs> After the warp drive, we would do a, a, a hull repair, which would take us from basically one, uh, assuming this does one damage. Uh, yeah, assuming this does one damage, that would take us to two damage, and then we could do a repair. Let's see what everybody wants to talk about. I see you have maintained your devotional wards even in this time of crisis. Very wise. The traitor and the inquisitor. Anything to report? They are like two starving hounds circling each other. <laughs> At some point, sooner rather than later, one of them will pounce. You believe the inquisitor might lose? Engaging the mind of a demon prince does not usually go well. I'll be keeping watch and I'll put both of them down if I have to. However I can best serve. The Demon Prince is a vexing prisoner. When the time comes, Commander, it will be satisfying to bring the fire. Even from within its wards, I can feel the creature's psychic stench permeating the ship. The brothers have been quietly grumbling about its presence, and I know Lunette has had to take special measures to protect her servitors from corruption. Yes, of course. How are we doing? Under your guidance, it is a proud day to be a Grey Knight. Well, goddamn, Hector. Yes, of course. Thanks. I pray we will be back on Titan soon. Vakir next. Vakir, so it's Vakir versus Ector, and then we always go to Lunette for like the final, uh, uh, I see you have come straight to me. The in between. Time is of the essence. <laughs> I didn't. I went to Ector, but it's fine. Must we truly keep this demon filth alive? I want him destroyed far more than you, Commander. Yeah, we need him. Without the Codex Toxicus, he's our only lead. Yeah, but he's not willing to help us. We must force him to do so. He will not willingly help us. No, we won't. We must force him to do so. Such creatures are weak. That's why they fell to the ruinous powers in the first place. A demon prince's mind teems with peril. If you have another plan, please share it. Your purifier has nothing to offer, and I do think we can trust him to intercede. Forcefully, should I fail in my duty. Huh, okay. What concerns you? This Cadex, it reeks of contempt. His presence has brought back some memories that I would have rather forgotten. I'd once been assigned to investigate abnormal activities on the hospitaler station known as Sister Mono Monius. Cadex had possessed a Medicaid known of the high disinfectari. He became obsessed with cleanliness and the hygiene of the station. That seems counter to its master's the goals. The plague god has a sense of humor. While the highest spires were pristine, the levels below the surface of the asteroid where most of his patients went for treatment were foul and fetid, a place where demons festered in the bodies of the dying and where Cadex earned his nickname, the Beast of Sistermonius. Are you exposed its true nature? Yes, but not before being put under his care. When I realized what he was, I escaped and put out a request for aid to any who would answer. Fortunately, a small strike force from the Blood Angels chapter were in a nearby system. We purified every level, all personal and medical servitors cleansed, but the corrupt stain left by his hand remained. In the end, I was forced to order exterminatus. Billions lost. It was a failure I do not admit to easily. Yes, we must focus on essential matters. I am impressed, Commander. That's all I need to hear. Thanks. We all serve the Emperor. Okay. Uh. Wait, what's going on here? Destroy the Codex Toxicus. We no longer use it to hunt the Reapers. Must fight the Bloom by other means. Huh. Very interesting. Domination of Cadex. Oh. Hello. Uh, I urge you to begin the rites of domination at once. Um, yes. Okay. So we're going to be doing that for a while. I didn't even, that's, we're very lucky that we clicked on that, because I didn't notice this, really. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So two months for that. You require a box exchange, Commander? Yeah, the Demon Prince is now contained. Punish the traitorous wretch for the trauma and hurt it brought to the Edict. I have many tools in Manufactorum that could make the Demon suffer until we extract the data from it. I think Vakira has her own interrogation plans. I will leave it to her then. I have repair crews to coordinate, but should that creature leave the Libris, 
it will have me to answer to. I'd love to see what you're capable of out there, to be honest. I bet you would crush. The machine spirits ascent. Do the wards around the demon prince hold? They do. Although I can feel his will probing against the blank minds of my servitors. What does the traitor want with your servitors? He thinks to bypass the Inquisitor's containment and corrupt them into mindless poxwalkers. They would spread contagion throughout the ship. A clever plan easily overlooked by those who pay less mind to the innervations of the machine spirits. Do not worry, I have fortified my servitors accordingly. It is not just Inquisitors and Grey Knights who can confound Nurgle. The machine spirits ascent. I and the ship remain vigilant. Excellent. May the Omnissiah bless us with a favorable equation. Okay. That didn't take long. One of our brothers has been called to join the Paladins. He will require time off ship to complete his training. Oh, okay. Have you taken leave of your senses? All of your knights are essential to this campaign. This is an important rite of passage for our brother. A paladin could prove useful, even if he must do without him for some time. Commander, if this knight insists on proving his valor, why not direct him to fight the bloom instead? Huh. Ah, Eclipse. Frick. Send him to fight the bloom instead. Or let him pursue his quest. Either way, he's going to be gone for a bit. Important rite of passage. I don't know. This one, I, I have no clue what this would do. Let's let him pursue the quest. Stand in the way of destiny. Such a waste. So he's on assignment. All knights get plus one max willpower for high morale. All right, that's cool. I assume he's gone for that 20 days then? <laughs> nope, 45. You love to see it. New Bloom in three, two, one. Oh, I was close. Am I to understand that you are harboring a demon prince on board the Edict? Uh-oh. That is an extraordinary measure, even by the standards of this unorthodox campaign. Yes, yes, there are exigent circumstances. I shall trust in your will, but know that you will be judged for any ill consequences. Hmm. Hector would be unavailable. So I think that means we probably take um, reduced XP growth, which I think I'm fine with if that's the outcome. The foul beast will not <laughs> link with uh, That's fine own. too, actually. Purity seals adding one, that's not that bad. There's the boom, so I was kind of right. I was kind of right. I can get there, but I have to give up chase. I can't get there, and I can't get there. So that begs the question. That's going to go to max level. That's going to go to max level. Uh, this is at max level. We have a few problems. Here, win without crafted. Eliminate all seed carriers. Pretty straightforward. Um... Rank 3 warding stave. Tier 3 equipment. Hmm. How many requisition do I have right now? Three? I almost wonder if I just, like, continue chasing this ship. I get requisition from that. And then, uh... And then worry about the next batch. I may have to repair the, the shields actually before like Status. doing the whole integrity Flag thing. Ship identified in near planetary orbit. The edict yeah, is not see. yet detected. It appears to be unloading a compound into the atmosphere. Those are fragments of bloom seeds. If we were to disable that ship, we might recover the vile ammunition for my research. Ooh, I like that. I'd rather we eliminate it from range while we have the element of surprise. What say you, Commander? Um, 
He says eliminate it from range. She says try to disable it. Or board the ship. <laughs> That's kind of neat, too. But four knights would be at risk. So we'd only get seeds if we disable it. And it says the ship will be at risk. Open fire may be at risk. Let's try and disable it. Take care how you aim, Commander. God. Okay. So that did take us down. We got five necrosis seeds and two requisition. But now we're like dangerous territory, eh? Construction in six days. Oh, I can actually still reach here. Excellent. I was thinking because uh, this path us up here that we probably wouldn't be able to. But now we can take that fight as well. And we'll probably hit this warp drive. Oh, God. <laughs> Three knights wounded. Okay. Um, not great, but not horrible, I guess. Okay, extra ship speed. Now, we need to repair the shields, I guess. But do we need to do that? I actually feel like, just in case something happens, we should do this first. Because, yeah, I could repair the shield, which removes the, the hull damage penalty. But if I take any damage now anyways, we die. So I'm going to do the repair thing first. It's been a while, actually, since we've had this mission type, too. So it'll be a nice little change of pace. Eliminate all the seed carriers. Win without master crafted armor. So, do I want to go for that? Let's decide who we're going to bring first. Both of our apothecaries are injured. It's unfortunate, but it's true. Um. We could, I guess, run without an apothecary. But they have the best use of their servo skulls and stuff, right? I think we can still run it. We'll just be careful. Yeah, we'll just be careful. Let's bring uh, Mama Bear, though. To get some XP. Prajim is good. Uh, Jlurdum is good. And I guess Arcadius. I really like this team comp. This this purifier it just doesn't have this the the pre-selected skills don't really jive. The paladin seems okay. Seems okay. But the the Justicars with Honor the Chapter are just better, in my opinion. So much more flexible. All right. So I will build these guys out, and we might reach some... We might reach some nines here. 1567 there. And, sorry, Jordan might reach eight. It's possible. So we'll see. Oh, sorry. Arcadius. Yeah. Yeah, it's... I mean, he could hit nine, too. We'll see. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll look at what I can do here to uh, fulfill this deed. And if I can feel confident enough, then we'll give it a shot. See you guys next time. Bye for now.